your lawn edge is driving you to the edge of despair. Our lightweight ergonomic 24 volt line trimmer is ideal if you've got smaller, medium sized areas of lawn. But what happens if you've got a bigger lawn or longer grass? Maybe you've got nettles or weeds. You can double up the power with two 24 volt batteries and go for a 48 volt line trimmer. But although we've tackled some light grass, some long grass, what happens if you've got really, really, really long weeds and really, really long grass? And that's when you're gonna need a brush cutter. And that's exactly what it's gonna do. It's gonna cut through brush, thicker brambles, thicker grass, longer grass. You might wanna clean your camera, mate. And the way you transition from string trimming to brush cutting is to use the tools that come included, and obviously following the instructions. And a quick tip to make sure when you're tightening and loosening that nut at the top there, it's actually counterintuitive. Normally it's righty tighty, loosey lefty. It's the other way around because this is a reverse threaded screw. But once you've read the instructions and familiarized yourself, you can engage your brush cutter blade and that'll help you tackle some really stubborn foliage. So if you are looking to repopulate an area of forgotten garden, then this is an ideal way to be able to do it without having to break a sweat and all at the press of a button. You know what we haven't done on these? What? See how tough they are? No, tell me that's another video. Come on to be continued. No. No, it's gonna be continued right now. No. Right now, let's do it. <laughs> Welcome back to our toughness test. In this toughness test, we're actually doing something more diligent than usual. Instead of throwing an obscene amount of objects against the tools to see if I can break them, this time around we're going to pit them against the task that they've been designed to tackle. So we've come to our top secret testing location just outside the town of Macclesfield. You go past the tip, there's a little dirt track on the left-hand side. If you follow it down the end there, you'll get to a farm. If, if you get to the big barn on the right-hand side, you've gone too far, but if you follow it down the hill, you'll get to <laughs> Behind me, we have an overgrown agricultural field with a myriad of different weeds, grasses. So we've got dock leaves, we've got kutch grass, we've got thistles. Will our tools take on the task? First up, we've got our 24 volt, 25 centimeter string trimmer. Now, this has been designed to help you with domestic tasks and pampering the perimeters of your lawn but can it tackle the rough stuff? We've got the 48 volt, 35 centimeter string trimmer. Again, designed to tackle longer, tougher grass, but in this case, we're gonna throw some real tough stuff at it. We've got some agricultural rye and some very long weeds in this section of field. Will it be up to the job? And last but not least, we've got our 48 volt brush cutter. And playing the part of brush perfectly today is a four foot wild thistle, spiky, stiff, and perfect fodder to test our brush cutter. Each tool is going to get 60 seconds to see how much they can clear in a space of 1.5 meters by 5 meters long. With it being a toughness test, let's throw them into action. Just do the test first before you start to throw them. Uh... Okay. Although this is a toughness test and it's an excuse to have some fun, it doesn't mean that we can forget our safety gear. In this case, I'm going to be wearing headgear, face visor, gloves, and some steel toe cap shoes. And as with any clearance work, we've done a preliminary check to make sure that there's no animals nesting and that there are no dangerous foreign objects. Well, no real surprises really. I got a big smile on my face because this was incredibly satisfying. I mean, can I show you actually on the brush cutter? It doesn't even look like it's been used. That really was an absolute doddle. It was a cakewalk for this blade. Those four tines rotate incredible RPM. Each has got a scalloped edge and a blade and it sailed through that thistle, no problem at all, this long kutch grass. And this was the longest section. That's the reason why we dedicated this part to the brush cutter because it had obviously that thistle bang in the middle, but look at the length of this grass here. Best part of 50, 60 centimeters long. And again, just to show you, it's no fluke. If you're clearing an area of brush yourself, you can be 
a bit more diligent, you're not up against a time limit that I had. So I was pressing on as quickly as I could, but even still it's whipped away all of that surface thatch and down to the ground level in most cases with a very clean cut. Now all that needs to happen is this loose matter to be cleared up, but shout out to the 24 volt, 25 centimeter line trimmer. Remember, this is designed for lightweight applications. This has been designed to help you pamper the perimeters of your lawn, not to really take on vast areas and swathes of long grass. In this case, upwards of 30, 40 centimeters. And again, big, thick agricultural rye. And it's done a fantastic job and it's done a really tidy job. And it did not miss a beat once. It kept going all the way through. Incidentally, we've used the same batteries across all three tools. I started off with a 24 volt, four amp hour battery. I then took that to the 48 volt, and then I took both those four amp hour batteries over to the 48 volt brush cutter. As to be expected, with the 24 volts tackling about half the paddock, the twin string string trimmer, the 35 centimeter, that extra length, and that additional string and that extra power means that I was able to propel through even longer grass. We were sailing through dock leaf and dock stem as well with those two strings. And we've done a vast amount of clearance work in the space of 60 seconds, but it's inevitable, wasn't it really? Brush cutter, hands down winner. And the reason why it was the right tool for the task in hand. And that is where a brush cutter really comes into its own. So with our clearance work finished, we're gonna say goodbye to our 24 volt and 48 volt string trimmers and focus on the brush cutter because I wanna show you this power, performance, practicality and portability. So up first we have a accuracy test. First of all, I'm gonna cut through the seller's tape, closing this box, show you the control that you have of the tool and the accuracy and the profile of that blade and then I'm probably gonna obliterate the cardboard box just because I wanna have some fun. Then we're gonna tackle some really woody, tough stuff. So this is bamboo. These are old, dry cuts of some Phyllostachys aurea from my garden. So these have now become incredibly woody, incredibly dense. If you've ever used, used bamboo in your garden for running canes, you'll know how durable and tough these are. We wanna get rid of those neatly, quickly, and effectively. Then it's called a brush cutter for a reason. So let's cut a brush. But will it help us cut through traffic? You're supposed to laugh at that bit, Paul. Yeah, I'm gonna cut through a traffic cone. And then last but not least, we're gonna go through some real brush. Now I've dug this out of the hedgerows here, so it's a bit of old windfall. Some of it started to rot away, but that's where the brush cutter will come into its own because you may encounter something like this underneath all that overgrowth. Now I'd always advocate that you check the area first, but if you did encounter this, will it beat that type of brush? There's only one way to find out. Start the test. Up first, the cardboard box. Made of cardboard in a box-like shape. There is a practical purpose to this demonstration. It just goes to show you that even with that high level of RPM at the end, and that at first class, very fearsome looking blade, you are in complete control of the tool, so you can be as accurate and as tidy as you like with your cutting. But how destructive can we be with it? Task two, bamboo. <laughs> that was the most pointless task. It just killed those in seconds. Try getting that cleaner cut for the set of conventional secateurs. Very neat. On to the next one. Number three, it's called a brush cutter. But will it cut through a literal hardwood brush handle? <laughs> Woo! Woo! Now, for anyone who's thinking, surely that's an easy task. No, we didn't cheap out. We used my wife's most expensive household brush and some seasoned hardwood handle. So that is a pretty mean feat to go through that. But we're not finished yet. So we need to cut through some traffic. Not that you'd ever need to, but it's nice to know that if you ever wanted to cut down the traffic cone with a brush cutter, you can do. Actually, we'll recycle it. That's glittering. I just remembered. This is supposed to be a toughness test. <sighs> Brush cutting next. 
some big brush. This is not the kind of thing that you should be using your brush cutter on. I wanted to prove that if you did encounter some old windfall or some seasoned branches, then you're not gonna damage the tool. And most importantly, you're not gonna damage yourself when it's in operation. And to prove a, a point, in fact, this cut through upwards of three inches of seasoned branch, which I've dug out from the hedgerows here. It's no mean feat. Normally you'd have to use something like a chainsaw to do that. We did it with a brush cutter. And I'm confident that I've still bags of potential on that blade to be able to tackle all of this clearing around me. And plenty of charge in the bank too. Now, if you're looking to beat some bush of your own, or maybe you just want to pamper the perimeters on your lawn, there's a whole host of different tools to help you both out in the garden and in your home. And all you need to do to find out more about them is check the link at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.